One of the things that got me interested in this project, the global history of the, the in global environmental history of the Industrial Revolution, is some passages in a book written by a former Carson Center fellow, uh, Andrew Eisenberg. He wrote the book before he was a Carson Center fellow. The book is called The Destruction of the Bison. And in that book, among the many interesting things he says, is that bison hide was widely used in textile mills as um, uh, st strapping in the process by which mechanical power was delivered from its source, perhaps a water wheel, to uh, a power loom, to machinery. And bison hide made the best leather belting, would be a proper term for this, belting, uh, better than cattle hide. And so according to Eisenberg, one of the principal reasons behind the near extermination of the North American bison was this particular fact. And of course, the industrialization of the eastern part of the United States uh, created a tremendous demand for this sort of belting. And so the bison, of which there had been 20 million, maybe 40 million in 1850, were by the early 1880s reduced to a thousand or two in number, which was a powerful ecological change for the prairies of North America. This was uh, a keystone species, and in very short order it was reduced from abundance to near extinction. So that was an interesting example for me. When I thought about that, I thought there must be other ways in which the, if you will, casual demands of industrialization produced outsized environmental consequences around the world. So I began to think about this. What other examples are there? Is there a larger pattern here? Is there something consistent here about how uh, industrialization affected the far-flung regions of the earth. So in that sense, uh, Eisenberg's book was uh, a, an, an inspiration for me. And while that one example will only be a tiny part of my book, it's uh, the, the pattern, the process that I first encountered, or I first remember encountering in his book, that will provide the theme and structure for mine.